Hi there, guys. Here is Vlad, Community Manager of Vect. Today is Wednesday, which means that it's time for our bi-weekly update. This week, we are happy to announce that we have just shipped the grouping layers feature in Vect, and we're really excited about it. In this video, we just want to show you how to use this feature. So first, what we need to do is to create some figures. Let's create a rectangle, a rounded rectangle. Oh, let's make it bigger. And let's change the color to, let's say, pinky. Yeah. And an ellipse. And let's make it blue. First, what you need to do is to select layers. You can do so via a simple rectangle selection tool, just like that, or alternatively by pressing a command button and choosing the layers that you want to group from the left layers bar. Once chosen, you should right-click the selected layers and click Group. Now the layers are grouped. You can see the group over here. Let's call it Group 1. Once grouped, you can modify them and move them all together. You can also lock your layers, which makes it impossible to edit them or to move them. It's especially useful when working with the background, so your background will never get touched. Or you can also make them, the group of the layers, invisible, which uh, makes your designing workflow really flexible. Let's get back. Um, in order to ungroup the layers, you should also right-click and click Expand Group. Now the layers are individual, and you can move them as you like. Let's now group them again. When grouped, you can also modify each of the individual layers simply by focusing on each of them, and then modify them, them as you like. For example, rounding up the corners. And another layer. You can also edit them. Then when unfocused, the layers still remain a group, and you can still modify and select them all together. That's it for the layers. I really hope that you enjoy designing with Spectre and see you in two weeks.